Hey, what's up? Just wanted to show you this. Okay, I can rewind this. This probably should be, shouldn't be much of a problem. Here's the knot in the rope that keeps it hanging on inside. I'll cut that off, pull the rope all the way out. Like I said, rewind this thing, feed it back in there, tie this knot back up, and just let it recoil. And this should be good and last um, for a while like that. Now, this thing goes into here so this is this is the gear that the starter meshes up with as it uh, comes through as a starter comes through that hole there on the other side and this like uh, I don't even know what to call this thing but it basically connects the starter there it fits right in there it connects the starter gear uh, yeah, it connects the starter to this flywheel uh, gear, and it stays in place. The thing that's supposed to slide is this gear, like I was saying, out to meet this, like that. Now, if this is getting too wobbly in there, like that, that might cause a problem. But anyway, this is supposed to, like, nice and easy mesh up with the whole thing doesn't move. You know, that's supposed to stay in place, and this fits into the casing right here, and this doesn't move at all. This doesn't go back and forth. Just the gear is supposed to fly out and hit that when you hit the starter button. It's supposed to come out like that, and after the engine starts, it sucks back in. And it's not doing that. It's frozen in place there. Now, I put it... I put a little pressure on this thing and I got this cover here to start you know sliding back and forth and that gear is supposed to slide up with it going that way when you engage the uh, hit the starter button but this thing is just stuck I mean and I don't think it's just just rust because when you take a closer look at it if you see around the edges here of this metal it's kind of like pinched over the edge that might be keeping that uh, this starter gear from extending out that way you see what I'm saying so hopefully you don't need a new one of these but it doesn't look like it's just rust that's holding it back the edge of this is kind of folded over the the part of this gear here at the bottom of it if you notice that right there where the edge of my thumb is see how that's kind of folded over the edge keeping it from extending out now this thing has like internal springs and all that stuff and you can Okay, so this is a mechanism that's supposed to, you know, shoot that gear out, and it's just locked up for some reason. So this right now, unless I can soak it and get it to work, is defective. Okay, it's not the starter, but it's this intermediate uh, starter gear thing between the starter and the and the flywheel here. And um, all I can do is like soak it. Maybe I can uh, take some of the edges off from around there and get this to work. And like I said, you know, I can re-spool that, uh, the pull start thing and get it to work and then put it back on here. But I'm just going to go ahead and wait for your feedback on this because... Um, there's no reason for me to install this back on here. I guess I could. I guess it's not that difficult of a job. But I don't want to be putting this cover back on and taking it off and putting it on and taking it off. You know, because this thing, unless you want to pull start this thing every time, you know, there's no, we might as well just take care of this and figure out what's wrong with it or get a new one, you know. Like I said, unless you just want to go with uh, only having a pull start, which kind of sucks. Um, anyways, 
that's what's happening, you know. So fix the pull starter and I could put it back on there. You know, at least we could get it running. Um, like you said, I think. But then I'll have to, if we're going to replace this thing so that, to, or fix it, you know, to get the electric starter to work properly, I'm going to have to take that cover back off, you know, reinstall this thing, reinstall the starter from the other side, you know, put it in there and then put everything back together. But, um, you know, just to get it going, I guess I could re-spool the pull starter and, um, slap it back on there tighten down the bolts so that at least you know we got something that can grab this flywheel and get it um, get the whole thing moving again and get it running anyway so uh, I think I can do that without you know having to put all the uh, the sprocket and the chain back on there because as long as it's in neutral we shouldn't have to worry about this spinning and turning the wheel you know so Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. <clears throat> I'd rather not uh, put this cover back on for the pull start uh, unless we get this figured out here. And that's where I'm at, is trying to figure out why this is, you know, locked up and not allowing the, uh, the gear to shoot out. Because um, something's it's frozen. Uh, this thing is sliding forward, this little cover, and the gear should follow it. Like when that starter starts spinning, that cover along with this gear should all be sliding that way. So anyway, long explanation.